Hello, and thank you for purchasing the BioNote VCheck. In this video, I will help you set up the V200, upload the current software, calibrate the unit, and run your first tests. So let's get started. After unpacking your new analyzer, please plug into a power source and press and hold the power button for 4 seconds. The screen will then boot up. Once the VCheck is on, the next step is to update the current software with the USB that came with the VCheck. Insert the USB into one of the four ports and wait for the front of the analyzer to show the USB icon on the center of the screen at the bottom. You can verify that the analyzer is reading it by seeing the icon here. Once you see the USB icon, tap on the supervisor menu and type in the password found in the manual, which is four zeros, zero, 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 zero. Then tap OK. This will bring you into the main menu where you have five different options. First, go to Manage Operator. This is where you add, edit, or delete new users. Once you have operators created and you have the USB inserted, Press back and it will bring you to the five options. Now you can update the software. Go under Update, Update Software. Now it will start updating the software to the new software on the USB. This takes less than two minutes. Once the software has been updated, it will ask you to restart the VCheck. Simply press OK. Now the analyzer will do a complete shutdown. Once it is off, you can remove the USB and turn the analyzer back on by holding the toggle switch for four seconds. The analyzer will reboot. Next, we are going to perform a calibration using the calibration kit that is included with the analyzer. The calibration must be done every 30 days. The analyzer will give you an error message, E12, when the calibration is overdue. If this occurs while trying to perform a test, it's okay because it takes less than two minutes to perform a full calibration. We are now going to do a calibration. To calibrate, open the calibration set that came with the analyzer. You have three devices, a Cal 1, a Cal 2, and a Cal 3. To start the calibration, Touch the calibration icon from the main menu. Enter the operator ID, then press OK. You can also perform the calibration using the direct option. Start with Cal 1 by inserting it barcode side up into the cradle until it clicks. The Cal 1 will calibrate the white background of the device itself. When Cal 1 is finished, it will eject at which time you remove it. Then insert Cal 2, which calibrates the ultraviolet sensor. When Cal 2 is complete, it will again eject for your removal. It will ask you to insert the next cal. Insert cal 3, again barcode up into the cradle until it clicks. The cal 3 is going to calibrate the red, green, and blue sensor on the analyzer. Once Cal 3 is done, it is going to give you the OK and will print out a report that the calibration was successful. Simply press OK and then eject the last one. It is really important to save the calibration kit. This calibration set is reusable. 
You can continue to use this set over and over every 30 days until the expiration date printed on the outside of the pouch. You want to keep this set at room temperature and store it somewhere where it will be safe from being thrown away. Now, once you have successfully calibrated the V-Check, you are all set and ready to go. Congratulations! You can start using your BioNode V-Check. You are now ready to run your first test. The V-Check runs 11 different quantitative tests. For this demonstration, we will run a K9NT Pro BNP. The K9NT Pro BNP is a refrigerated test. Any refrigerated test and the buffer mixed diluent cup in the reagent kit need to be taken out of the refrigerator to sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. Once it is acclimated, you can begin the testing process by inserting the K9NT Pro BNP into the V-Check analyzer. Starting with standard test on the main menu, put in the operator ID and patient ID. You can also write in the patient ID in the little white space right here on the device if desired. The analyzer will take a photo and display the patient ID on the result printout. Insert the device, barcode up, into the V-Check cradle, pushing it in until it clicks. Notice that I did not put a sample mix into the device. It is appropriate to put the test device in without having a sample in the device. This is because it will take the V-Check a few seconds to recognize what test you are running. It takes all the information off of the 2D barcode, and once it knows what you're running, it will display the instructions on the screen. Follow the laminated quick guide that comes with the V-Check regarding how to prep the sample for all 11 tests. Now we are going to mix the sample. As we are running a K9NT Pro BNP test, you need a 100 microliter sample of serum. So get your 100 microliter pipette and attach a universal tip from the reagent kit. Press down on the 100 microliter pipette until it stops. You don't want to press it all the way down as you would draw more sample than you need. Again, with all these pipettes, it is really important to stop at the first point of resistance. So, get your appropriate serum sample. Open the buffer that comes with the test kit. Then mix it six to eight times or in accordance with the quick guide. You want to get it all the way up. Push it all the way down, up again. So you want to mix this well for whatever test you're running and closely follow the quick guide instructions. Once you mix it six to eight times, Press the 100 microliter pipette to get the sample mix, draw your sample, and put it into the device. Tap Start Immediately. It is important to tap Start Immediately because each device has a built-in quality control as you can see with those five little circles. That's the internal QC running on the device. If you add the sample outside of the unit, it will not run the quality control test and it will display a contaminated error message. Once it passes this quality control, the timer will start and you will get your results at the end of the countdown timer. When the test is done, it will display the results on the screen and an automatic printout comes out. It will then eject the device as soon as the device is ejected, you can press OK and eject your device. The V-Check will store 3,000 results in the internal database for future reprint needs. You can reprint past results by recalling them under the Review section of the main menu. Thank you again for your purchase of the BioNote V-Check V200. Please feel free to contact us for additional information or with any questions. And remember, visit our website to register for your two-year warranty.